hi hello welcome to my channel learn more math my name is varakumar today we are going to solve a problem from polynomial success 3.4 a third problem very very important problem so many times he asked in the examination for four marks very very important just you have to follow the steps it is also related to the division of polynomials so uh, these type of problems are very very important uh, just you have to concentrate here how can we solve this problem so see here uh, just you have to follow the steps uh. so see here uh, what he is asking to find as a uh, so very very important problem for uh, four marks so obtain all other zeros of 3x to the power 4 plus 6x cube minus 2x square minus 10x minus 5 if two of its zeros are square root 5 by 3 and minus square root 5 by 3 so here it has given a polynomial 3x to the power 4 plus 6x cube minus 2x square minus 10x minus 5 so two of this polynomial two zeros are root 5 by 3 and minus root 5 by 3 so he is asking to find us the remaining zeros. So first, what is the degree of the given polynomial? So the degree of the given polynomial is 4. So at most how many zeros the given polynomial has? So it has at most 4 zeros. If the degree is 4, it has 4 zeros. If the degree is 3, it has at most three zeros here since the degree of the given polynomial is four it has at most four zeros but uh, among the four he has given only two uh, remaining two zeros we have to find see here how can we find the remaining two zeros so see here uh, i'm writing like this uh, uh, since uh, square root 5 by 3 x minus 5 so since square root 5 by 3 and minus square root 5 by 3 are the two zeros of 3x to the power 4 plus 6x cube minus 2x square minus 10x minus 5 uh, x minus root 5 by 3 x minus square root 5 by 3 and so x minus square root 5 by 3 and x plus square root 5 by 3 become factors of given polynomial uh, therefore x minus square root 5 by 3 into x plus square root 5 by 3 is equal to so it is in the form a minus b into a plus b a minus b into a plus b is equal to a square minus b square so a square is equal to x square minus a b square is equal to square root 5 by 3 whole square square root 5 by 3 whole square so see here now write x square minus uh, root to square gets cancelled it becomes x square minus 5 by 3 so by finding lcm we can get a 3x square minus 5 divided by 3 so it can be written as 1 by 3 into 3x square minus 5 1 by 3 into 3x square minus 5 so now we have to divide the given polynomial by 3x square minus 5. So see here. Uh, so now dividing 3x to the power 4 plus 6x cube minus 2x square minus 10x minus 5 by 3x square minus 5. So now how to divide this polynomial by 3x square minus 5. So before going to divide the polynomial we have to check whether it is in its standard form or not. Uh, so here a uh, power of x is 4. Here it is 3. 2 1 0 so the powers of variables are in decreasing order so it is uh, uh, it, it is in its standard form so now we can divide so write this as a, a dividend that is a 3x to the power 4 plus 6x cube minus 2x square 
minus 10x minus 5 we have to divide by 3x square minus 5 3x square minus 5 so we have to follow the steps so the highest degree term of the dividend is 3x to the power 4 the highest degree term of the divisor is 3x square so now we have to divide 3x to the power 4 with 3x square so we have to i am writing the steps here uh, first one uh, 3x to the power 4 uh, divided by 3x square we can get x square so 3 3 gets cancelled x to the power 4 by x square is equal to x square uh, write this x square in the quotient area so write x square so in the sec second step multiply the divisor with x square that is x square into 3x square minus 5 3x square minus 5 so that is x square into 3x square 3x to the power 4 x square into minus 5 minus 5x square so now how to write these two so here x to the power 4 3x to the power 4 is there so here 6x cube is there but here there is no x cube term so leave the space uh, below the space of x cube term leave as blank so write this minus 5x square below the term of x square so here minus 5x square we have to write here so uh, these uh, this you have to remember it is very very important uh, if you write here you can get confused while subtracting so this is very very important we have to write uh, like terms together for subtracting so here uh, uh, upon subtraction it becomes a minus it becomes a plus so 3x to the power 4 minus 3x to the power 4 gets cancelled so uh, write a 6x cube here 6x cube minus 2x square plus 5x square we can get a plus 3x square so next uh, write minus 10x here minus 10x so write this minus 10x so now 6x cube plus 3x square minus 10x so again uh, this becomes the dividend so the highest degree term is 6x cube again now we have to divide this 6x cube by 3x square so next step we have to divide this 6x cube 6x cube divided by 6x cube divided by 3x square so divide 3x square we can get 2x 2x so 3 ones and 3 2 so so x cube by x square is x so we can get 2x write this 2x in the quotient area so write here 2x so next multiply the divisor with 2x so i am multiplying see here 2x into 2x into uh, 3x square minus 5 3x square minus 5 uh, multiply 2x into 3x square 6x cube so 2x into minus 5 is equal to uh, minus 10x 2x into 3x square is 6x cube 2x into minus 5 is minus 10x so here write 6x cube uh, leave this space for x square there is no x square term here uh, write minus 10x below the uh, x term of uh, dividend so now subtract it becomes minus it becomes plus 6x cube minus 6x cube gets cancelled so write this 3x square as usual and minus 10x plus 10x gets cancelled so here minus 5 write minus 5 as usual so here it is a 3x square minus 5 so since there is no x term here uh, there is some gap between these two so 3x square minus 5 so again this becomes dividend so divide 3x square by 3x square we can get 1 so here directly see here uh, 3x square uh, divided by 3x square is equal to 1 uh, write this one so now we have to divide uh, 3x square minus 5 with 1 we can get 3x square minus 5 only so i am writing 3x square minus 5 directly so by subtraction it becomes minus it becomes plus uh, plus 3x square minus 3x square gets cancelled minus 5 plus 5 gets cancelled so here the remainder is 0 here the remainder is 0 so now x square plus 2x plus 1 uh, we have the quotient so see here uh, now we have to find the factors of uh, 
x square plus 2x plus 1 so the factors becomes the zeros of uh, uh, x square plus 2x plus 1 see here how can we do so here uh, 3x to the power 4 plus 6x cube minus 2x square minus 10x minus 5 is equal to 1 by 3 into 3x square minus 5 into x square plus 2x plus 1 so this is the quotient so dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus reminder here since reminder is 0 we need not to write so this is a dividend is equal to this is the divisor into quotient plus reminder reminder is 0 so this is the quotient x square plus 2x plus 1 now we have to split by now we have to find the factors by splitting the middle terms so see here it is nothing but uh, uh, x plus 1 x plus 1 so see here x square write this 2x as x plus x plus 1 so here x is common x plus 1 here plus 1 is common x plus 1 so finally we can get uh, x plus 1 is common so x plus 1 into x plus 1 so therefore x is equal to so let it is equal to uh, 0 first so it is equal to 0 it is equal to 0 it is equal to 0 uh, that implies x is equal to here x plus 1 is equal to 0 uh, x is equal to minus 1 comma here also x equal to minus 1 therefore we can write remaining zeros equal to uh, remaining zeros equal to minus 1 and minus 1 so since the degree of the given polynomial is 4 it has at most 4 zeros 2 zeros are square root 5 by 3 and minus square root 5 by 3 and the other two zeros are minus 1 and minus 1 so like this we can find the remaining zeros very very important problem just you have to practice and follow the steps you can do very easily that's all today's class we will meet in the next class with a, a fourth problem so thanks for watching.